Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be duping the new ColourPop Twilight eyeshadow palette with what is already in my collection. I'm going to do two looks. I'm going to do one on each eye. Um, let me get started with my makeup um, and I will continue to explain what I'm talking about. I gotta get something on my lips. Uh, this is the Hard Candy Gloss Topia Lip Repair Oil in Crystal Clarity. This container leaks if you lay it down, so I think I'm just gonna use this to moisturize my lips every day until it's gone because that just annoys me that I can't put it in a drawer like anything else. Now I have it in another color and I actually took that one out and put it on the shelf because I'm scared that one's gonna leak too. It's a it's a nice uh, lip oil, but yeah, you can't have leaky components. That makes a big mess. Okay, so Next, we're gonna need primer, and I'm going back to my Maybelline Baby Skin. I actually have a backup of this, not even open, so I think I wanna start using this every day until it's gone because um, I don't want it to expire, and I've had it for quite some time. So I wanna use it up and not throw it away. If you have dry skin, this is a nice primer, at least it is for me. Uh, so yeah, I was thinking about this whole ColourPop situation and I was like, how long is it going to take them to restock this? And by the time they do, does anybody really care? Because you know, in the makeup world, everything moves so quickly that Sometimes it's anticlimactic, even just waiting for an order to come for something that is current. Um, sometimes it's like, oh man, you know, by the time it gets to your house, it's like you're just not as excited about it anymore. But most people don't have the luxury of paying a lot of extra money to get faster shipping. All right, that's definitely plenty of primer. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my NYX Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer in the shade pink. And if you've never seen one of my videos before and you just came across um, this video because of the topic, um, I use this to cover redness and irritation that I get on my neck. And even though it's pink, you wouldn't think pink would cover red, but it does. And then I'm going to take my AOA Studio High Def Brush in F3. Uh, this brand is from the website shopmissa.com. These brushes are very good for the price and they seem to hold up well over time because I've had some of them for quite some time and I deep clean my brushes. I don't use like a liquid brush cleaner or anything like that. I deep clean my brushes with shampoo. So they take a lot of, you know, abuse by being washed that way. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit more down at the base here. So when I came up with this idea to do this yesterday, I went through my collection and I was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find dupes in my collection, but I did. Um, so the way I went about this, uh, let's continue on while we're doing this. 
I'm going to use um, my LA Girl Concealers Pro Dot Conceal. I'm going to put the pink and then I put the shade porcelain over that. Um, the way I approached this thing with the ColourPop duping is um, I said, okay, what would I do for looks if I had the palette? So I looked at the palette. And the first thing that stood out to me were the two blue shades. I'm going to try to insert a picture on the screen um, so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so hopefully you got a good look at that. Um, because I'm going to continue to talk about this again. So the two blues were the first thing that stood out to me. So I went looking in my collection and I was able to find dupes for those blues amongst what I already had. And then the second thing that stood out to me was the two greens. And I did the same thing. I continued to look for dupes for those, and I found them. So I'm going to show you what I found. Now, you may not have these exact products in your collection, but you may have something close that you can also create these looks if you want to. All right, concealer is on. Now, for foundation today, I want to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Now, I have 00B, which is light, and 00BB, which is nude. And mm, I think that the, the light is lighter than the nude. The nude is better for me, like in the summer when I have a little bit of color. So, yeah, let's put this aside and use the um, 00B light shade. And I definitely need to shake this. I shook it up yesterday in anticipation of using it today, but, um, yeah, it, when it's been sitting around for a real long time, it doesn't want to mix that well. Okay. So, yeah, I was um I was surprised in a way that I could find dupes, but then in a way I was not cuz you know, I have a pretty good size eyeshadow collection. And some of the things that I have bought that are going to be part of this dupe thing, I bought because I wanted something like what I'm going to show you. And I knew in one of the palettes that that I had nothing like that shade. Remember that video that I did filling in the gaps in your collection? I was actively trying to seek out things that I knew that I didn't already have. For colors that were like specific shades of colors that I did not have. Wow, that didn't didn't take that much uh, foundation to give me full coverage. Wow. Okay. And I might as well use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. And I have this in number one, translucent. And I'm going to use an e.l.f. powder brush. 
I like the way this component is. It has a screen in it, and you just tap your brush in there, and a little bit of powder comes up through the sifter. Because with other powders, it can be like too much powder coming onto your brush, and then you're trying to tap it off and it's not working. And so, this is going to give you just the right amount. I, lo I love that about this. Okay, for bronzer, you know, I was thinking about this yesterday. Um, I do like that Bare Minerals bronzer that I bought, but I think I prefer the e.l.f. one. This is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. And that means I'm going to need that brush. Oh, wow, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? There it is. Oh, good. Whew. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Putty brush. Yeah, I do like that, that Bare Minerals bronzer, but this one is just easier because it blends easy because it's uh, cream. Cream bronzers blend into your skin much easier than powders do. Okay, um, for blush today, I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Strawberry Jam Blush. Now, when you first get this, it has a lot of overspray on it, so it's going to take a while before you get work past that to get to the actual color of the blush, but I did really enjoy using the overspray as a highlighter until that happened. I'm going to use my Essence Blush Brush and pick up some of that. It's really pretty color. And it smells like strawberries. Oh, did you see how that deposited right there? I'm going to have to blend the heck out of this. For some reason, I was thinking that this, I haven't used this plush in a while, and I was thinking that it wasn't that pigmented, but it depends how much you put on your brush. Mm, yeah, that's okay. All right. Now, for highlighter, I'm going to use my Beauty Intuition face powder, the one that has the skull on it. This is from Dollar Tree. I got this during Halloween time. Um, and I'm going to use the same brush and go right over that because if you saw yesterday's video, I'm not doing highliner like in that little one little section anymore. I want to just do highlighting blush. Now this is no longer available, but I do have something that's kind of a dupe for it that I just wanted to point out that the Lottie London Diamond Bounce Highlighter in Frosted is very similar, very similar. And um, this is at Walmart, so I did want to mention that. Okay, so... Um... Let's see. So I, you saw me put concealer and foundation on my eyes, so I don't use like a separate eyeshadow primer anymore. That's just what I use. All right, so I think, no, you know what? I, I need to do my um, brows.
my e.l.f. shape and stay brow pencil this is just a wax I put that on first and then I use Mac Omega eyeshadow as my brow powder and I bought this at a CCO which is short for um, that's slang for cosmetic company store they have those at outlet malls and you can get Mac and a lot of other brands very cheap so if you like Mac and Too Faced and Bobby Brown and brands like that Tom Ford but you don't like the prices try going to um, an outlet mall to a that has a cosmetic company store and uh, you can get these things for way way cheaper than retail oops <laughs> All right, uh, that's good. All right, on to the dupes. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do a blue look on one side, and there is a matte blue in that Twilight palette. And I have that in my NYX Ultimate Color Palette Vintage Jean Baby. Now, I bought this palette because of this blue shade. Um, it's number nine. It's like a denim blue eyeshadow. And I yeah, I bought this palette because I did not have like a denim blue eyeshadow and I said wow you know for somebody that loves blue eyeshadow as much as I do I should definitely have this palette because look at all those blues in all different shades but we're gonna use that that matte blue today and I'm gonna put that in the crease So that shadow is not that easily dupable. Um, I have not seen it in any of the palettes other than the one I just showed you. Anybody that um, has any dupes for what we're talking about today, if you want to Put them in the comments section you know feel free because it might be helpful to somebody that doesn't have this palette or doesn't want to buy it so if you have any other ideas feel free to contribute that information so that everybody can be on board because I know I also have people watching from other countries and it's not always easy for them to find all the brands that I show that we have here in America. Okay, I'm just going to put just a little bit more. I'm also going to put this on the outer part of my lid
like that. I love, love, love this shade of blue. So that was the first thing that my eyes went to when I looked at that palette. All right, we're going to put this aside. And now I'm going to use the light blue shimmery shade that is in that ColourPop palette. And I have that in the shade Casper Mountain from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is one of his artistry singles. I got this in a mystery box. Uh, so that is what I have for the shimmery light blue. So I'm just going to pop that on my lid. And you may have um, something like this. I feel like this is going to be a little bit easier to dupe than that matte denim blue was. But if you have a blue eyeshadow palette, you probably will have something else, but this is what I have. All right, I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to do liner and mascara and, you know, finish up this one side and then we're going to move on to the green look. Okay, so what I did was I took a little bit of that denim blue eyeshadow, dragged it along the lower lash line. I used my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner in Deep Onyx. And then I curled my lashes and used my CoverGirl uh, Lash Blast Clean Topia Mascara in the shade Ultramarine. So that's how the blue side is. Now for the green side, the matte green eyeshadow that is in this palette, is kind of an unusual color. So I went through my collection and my Blend Bunny Cosmetics Surge palette, the shade Rush is that shade of green. Now this palette is being discontinued, um, so if you want it you would have to order it quickly because they don't have that many left. Um, but it's an beautiful palette. If you've never used this brand before, their formula is one of the best formulas I've ever tried, and I've tried a lot of makeup in my day. So that's what we're going to use in the crease, is that shade Rush. Because, yeah, it's kind of a unique green, I would say. And just like I did with the other side, I'm going to also put some in the outer part of my lid for like depth and dimension. Yeah, I'm not even sure how I would describe this green. It's quite unusual. All right, so I'm going to need another detail brush that's clean. And we're going to take some of this and drag this along the lower lash line.
and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on the lid. And for that, I had something in my Profusion Kaleidoscope palette. They always have this at Walmart, and oh my god, I love this palette. This is my favorite Profusion palette of all time. They always have this at Walmart, so it should be easy to get. And the shade that is the shimmery green is called Intention. Now that shade has a very um, unique formula to it. I would say it's a cream. Okay, so I'm going to use my finger. And we're just going to tap that on because it is a cream. This is going to give me the best um, blendability and the best placement. But it is gorgeous. So they picked some really good colors for this Twilight palette. I gotta go clean that up. Okay, so I added that same black liner that I showed you by Maybelline and the same CoverGirl mascara. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my face highlighter. And I'm going to take a clean brush and pick some of that up. And we're going to dust that as the brow bone highlight on both sides and inner corner highlight. I like using a face highlighter a lot of times as the highlighter for my eyes because I don't know it just coordinates good with my face highlighter. All right on my lips I, I am going to use my um, Pat McGrath matte trance lipstick in the shade Her Majesty, the one that I got from TJ Maxx the other day. I really like this lipstick and I thought thought this color would look really nice. Gonna forego the liner today because this applies very easily. Oh, but we're not done with the lips. I'm going to take the NYX Fat Oil Slick Click Shiny Lip Balm in the shade Clout, and we're going to pop some of that on top. I want to show you what this looks like. Like using it as a lip, lip gloss, more or less. Isn't that pretty? I did make a mess on the uh, product itself, so yeah, let's wipe that off because we don't want to leave that, that lipstick on there because I may want to use it for something else next time. Okay, so those are my two looks with my, the dupes that I have for the ColourPop Twilight eyeshadow palette. We have blue on this side, green on this side, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, so everybody's probably gone, but yeah, I wanted to do the setting spray. I always forget this, and then I look over next to me, and it's like, there it is. It does make a difference. All right, that is the finished look.